This is my 27 inch Philips CRT TV from 2002. This one's got some nice inputs on it. Um, probably notice right there the power button is missing, but it still works because I have the remote control for it, which is right here. <coughs> and you can uh, change that switch to control a VCR or some other accessory. So as far as controls go, we got channel and volume. This is a stereo TV set. It's got speakers on both sides. And here's a view of the side. There's the model number. 27T800-7629. Manufactured in October of 2002. We got our RF input, and then we have composite video and audio, component video, where we got S video as well. Cord comes out right there. And then on the right side of the TV, we have composite video and audio, as well as a headphone jack. So I'll turn it on in just a second, and we'll play some footage that I have recorded on my JVC VHSC camcorder. Before I get into that, I do want to mention I'm going to be getting one of, another one of those HDMI component converter boxes so I can hook up a, an Amazon Fire TV stick to this thing. I'm also going to get a uh, DTV converter box so I can watch live TV on it if I want. <clears throat> this is probably going to go in a bedroom or be used down here in the basement for when I'm working on stuff. So let's turn it on. It has a built-in degausser and it activates every single time you turn the TV on. Even if uh, you turn it on for a few seconds and then turn it back off again. As soon as you press the power button, the uh, degausser activates. So, should be able to hear. <clears throat> should be able to hear it. Here we go. And we're on AV1. Let's see what other inputs we have. <clears throat> I'm just messing with the menu right now. Get out of that. And, okay, so we got AV1, A2, and front. If you have something plugged into the components, or to the component ports, it'll be listed as, I think, um, CVI for component video input. At least that's what I remember from last time when I had the uh, fire stick hooked up to this with the component converter. Alright, so we're on front. I'm going to turn the camera on and we'll see what the video quality is like. Alright, camera is on. Let's go ahead and press play and see what we get. And yeah, we're having some problems with the uh, <clears throat> refresh rate on the TV conflicting with the frame rate on the camera. And I, I wasn't expecting it to do that because this camera records at 60 frames per second. And obviously the refresh rate on these is 60 hertz, but I guess it's still doing it. So, let's watch the video. <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to tell on video, but there's a lot of noticeable scan lines on this TV. It, it, like They're very, very pronounced on this TV, so that's kind of interesting. And this is another TV that I, another CRT that I have that I cannot hear the uh, flyback transformer on. I can hear it just fine on that one right there, that Legend 20 inch CRT. But uh, there are quite a few that I have that I can't hear it at all. This little 13 inch Memorex TV that I also made a video of, uh, I, when I was a kid, I used to be able to hear the 
flyback transformer, but I can't hear it anymore. So, press play again. And uh, by the way, this is not an HD capable TV, so even though it does have component video, uh, if you try to put a high definition video signal in, it'll just uh, it just just won't work. So, <clears throat> unlike the uh, Samsung Dynaflat HD that I have upstairs in the living room, where if you put you know it can accept up to a 1080i input and it can display that without a problem. Fast for a little bit. I did test the audio on this before, it's pretty good. Turn the volume up. In this part of the video, I'm testing that Dayton fan. So I'll go ahead and press play. Test the audio with something loud with me, like this fan right here. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, of course, since this only has uh, single channel audio out, uh, it's not utilizing both speakers on the TV, but if this had stereo audio, obviously it would be using both speakers right now. It's, the sound is just coming out of this one. But it sounds pretty good, so. <clears throat> Take a look at the menu again. Alright, I just hooked up the HDMI to component converter and I have the sorry about that. Have the fire stick plugged in. And I'm going to turn this on, and now we'll switch to component video in. And as you can see, the resolution is not set right on that, and we're just getting a bunch of crap on the screen, so I will change the resolution. Still getting crap, and change it again. Now we're getting uh, 480i60, which it has no problem displaying in the input from the fire stick is 1920 by 1080 so like I was saying before um, you can definitely use the component video for stuff like this but it uh, cannot be set to high definition okay the fire TV stick is booting up right now and I will go to YouTube and we'll play some of my videos so we can test the video quality was something that was shot on a high definition camera and the fire stick is displaying video on the Philips CRT TV okay I'm in the settings now because the problem you might run into when hooking your fire stick up to a CRT TV like this is that there might be overscan, which means that uh, the image is cut off around the edges. Okay, so you go to display and sound. And you can go to, and then you go to display. Output resolution right now is a 1080p 60 hertz, that's fine. Uh, what really matters is what the converter box is putting out, and that's putting out the correct resolution for this TV to handle. So we'll get out of there, and we'll go to calibrate display, and basically you press the up and down until all the arrows are visible, and they're right up to the edge, so you get the full image. Now this one is actually having the opposite problem. Instead of overscan, it is not filling the entire screen, and I could certainly adjust that. But, like I said, I have this set for a TV that I'm using this on upstairs, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. 
But this is just to show that you absolutely can hook a modern device like a Fire Stick up to an old CRT TV that has component or even composite inputs because you can get converter boxes that switch HDMI to composite as well. Obviously you're going to get a better, better uh, quality image with component video, but if you have a TV like that one down there that only has composite, then you'll want one of those, and obviously they still make these. So I'm going to get out of the menu and go to YouTube, and we can watch some videos of mine so I don't get copyright strikes. Alright, we're at the My Videos tab right now. And even though the screen is 4x3, it's still going to be displayed in 16x9 if you have the Fire Stick set up that way. As you can see, there is letterboxing, so it's still widescreen. It's not, it's not like it's being crushed down to 4x3 or anything. I'll go ahead and take a look at some video. Let's go look at this one right here. And we are getting an ad. I got this converter box on Amazon. And I'm not sure if this exact one is still available. I got this a few years ago, but they still have um, they still have these. And this one also has optical audio out. Right, here's my video. It should be set to 1080p. Yep, 1080p back and play. HV18 This has a 5 amp Westinghouse shaded pull motor with oil ports. The audio quality is really good on this TV. Let's take a look at the windings in there. And the very steeply pitched blades. got a nice long grounded cord and speed selectors on the bottom. It's got a very nice picture. So yep, let me start it up on high. There's mute. Here's another thing I wanted to show real quick. don't think you're going to be seeing this too often. I have my phone screen being mirrored onto the Fire Stick on the TV, so I can hook my phone up to it. And let's see what I have here. Hang on a second. I'm just going to the My Video section, and if I turn the phone, you can see it fills the screen. And I can scroll up and down. Let's go to a video. Go to the JVC camcorder video and uh, hang on a second, let me change the resolution. And I'll turn it horizontally so you can watch the video full screen. There is some lag when screen mirroring. It's not the fault of the phone, it's the fire stick that's causing that problem. That's why it's kind of choppy, but uh, yeah, you can even mirror your phone screen on one of these old TVs. Alright, so I am pretty happy with this TV. Glad I was able to pick it up and keep it from getting thrown away because I have a use for it. So, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching.